This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, stay peculiar. Those looking for a conventional family film best steer clear of Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children. Yes, it is a film about children with a number of child actors, but as the title implies, these aren't ordinary kids. Based on the surprise bestseller by Ransom Riggs, the film tells the story of a young man, Jake, who grew up hearing his Polish refugee grandfather's stories about living in a children's home in Wales during World War II. Abe shares these tales about the peculiar children and the betentacled monsters he claims to have killed. But as Jake grows older, he dismisses them as fiction. However, after witnessing Abe's death and seeing such a creature himself, Jake begins to think that maybe the old man wasn't making it all up after all. This leads him to Wales in a search for the children's home. Needless to say, he finds it and discovers more about his grandfather and himself than he ever hoped. Miss Peregrine is a return not only to an older time, but also to Tim Burton's roots as a filmmaker. The film is as darkest in years, with notable performances by Samuel Jackson as an over-the-top villain and Finley McMillan as a boarder in the home with the creepy gift of being able to give a return life to anything. However, it's Eva Green in the lead role who really steals the show as the strict but loving Miss Peregrine. Green gives dimension to an enigmatic character that could have easily have been cartoonish. While Miss Peregrine is in a perfect movie and the last third of it feels rushed, it nonetheless is worth seeing if only for the performances. Come to Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children and do plan to stay for dinner. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on our page on YouTube.